Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm doing a small update on this uh, single phase generator. Sorry for the noise it is making. I've done some modifications and one of them is that all the coils now have ferret core. As you can see, ferret core in all of them on both sides. And I also have a new rotor in there. Uh, 12 pole rotor now uh, Everything is still connected in series Voltage output is ah, almost the same as before But uh, there's uh, nearly no amps I have here the 28 watt load Gonna connect it And see what happens before I do that Let me check the RPM A306 Voltage output Open Give me a sec Yeah, there's nothing there Voltage is now only 5 volts Absolutely 0 amps And the RPM is decreasing a little bit not much yeah around 40 come up yeah something like that 40 to 50 say 50 rpm less So in other words, I have plenty of voltage, but absolutely no amps. Anyway, just a small update. I'm gonna configure it, keep watching, and I'll be right back. Okie dokie, I'm back, and now I have reconfigured the system. Again, sorry for the sound this uh, generator is making now. It's kind of annoying, but what the heck. Um, I have it now going to a transformer. Stepping the voltage down. It's being rectified. And I have now 12.7 volt DC output. Now, what I'm gonna do now. Ah, and on this side now, it is pulling 15 volts at 1 amp. And the previous uh, part, it was pulling 15 volts, 800 milliamps. Let's see what I can do now. This is a 5 watt load, not 5 watt output. And the voltage on that is... Seven point twenty and dropping a little bit faults on that light bulb now. Oh, forgot to measure the RPM at the beginning. Sorry about that, but it is dropping. I can tell you that. It's now seventeen hundred, and it is consuming one hundred milliamps more. First it was 1 amp and now 1.1 amp. Now I'm gonna put it on this large capacitor over here. And I also put it on the load. I mean also on the light bulb because the capacitor is also a load. Okay, connected everything up. Lights are coming on over here. Uh, let me put this over here so you can see the voltage. Voltage now, yes, yeah, you can see just below 7 volts, decreasing a little bit. 
the same fault I have also in here of course and the RPM now yeah 692 and decreasing a little bit so yeah even though I stepped it down it's not a lot of amps for some odd reason this modification gives me a lot of voltage but not much amp and on this side I am still pulling 15 volts at 1.1 amps which is roughly 15 or uh, 16 watts <laughs> yeah not much power being dissipated over here I think maybe 2 watts or 2 and a half most I check the RPM one more time yeah 1675 let me disconnect everything and we'll see where it goes as you can see over here everything is disconnected only gonna connect the uh, voltage meter on it yep that's the voltage output Checking that RPM one more time. Yeah, it has climbed up for about 100 RPM already. So the drag on the system wasn't that bad. Even though the output isn't that good either. So now I'm pulling back 15 volts at 1 amp. Gonna shut it off. Shut it down because I want to show you one more thing. Oh my ears. Anyway, uh, if you didn't understand it before, the modification I've done now is that all the coils have a ferret core in them. You can see them both sides. They're all in series. And I have in there a new rotor, 12 volt rotor. But now I have massive, massive, massive cogging as well. It is so strong, I cannot even turn it by hand. I have to put a lot of power. But once it get going, as you can see now, once it get going, it is very easy. Not very easy, but it's pretty easy to keep it going. But when it stops, still oscillate a little bit. When it stops completely like this, you have to put a lot of power man to make it move again anyway that's about it um, hope you enjoyed it and as always thank you for watching